Welcome back to another video of Experiential Lit. Our sun is a star in two ways. One, sits right in the center of our solar system and second, it's the biggest source of energy for life on Earth. Light travels across space, through Earth's atmosphere and finally to us and other living organisms. Only if we could tap into this source of energy and create an electric charge. This is what solar power aims to provide. Can it really change the world for better? In this episode, we'll take a look at the current state of solar power and how it has begun to harness free energy into electricity. About 30% of solar energy that reaches Earth is reflected back into space. Rest 70% is absorbed by Earth's surface, water vapor, dust and clouds. Interesting fact that the amount of solar power that reaches Earth in one hour can power the, the entire world for a whole year. That's combined energy from non-renewable sources like oil, natural gas, coal and nuclear energy. But realistically, only if we could tap all of it the world energy crisis would have been solved by now. In 2020, solar energy accounted for 629 gigawatts in total. Top three installers included China with one third of global installed solar capacity along with USA and India. 37 countries following. If we look at year-on-year -year installed capacity, a growth of solar power has been quite fast. From 40,000 megawatts in 2010 to 700,000 megawatts in 2020. This includes solar energy for heating and electricity. It is predicted the world will get half of its power from solar and wind energy by 2050. Using solar power at home helps to reduce global warming and decrease our reliance on fossil fuel. If solar power is so powerful, why aren't we using it everywhere? Large part of problem is perhaps that significantly stunted the use of solar power has to be blamed on batteries. Today's batteries have not yet reached the capacity to store enough energy that could provide reliable power for long duration when sunlight isn't available. Batteries have been getting cheaper over the years. Another issue at hand is probably harnessing all of the solar energy into usable energy. Solar panels have come a long way and are getting better. Solar panels that we see today that power our homes and other applications can only process 15 to 20 percent of the sun's power. The rest is reflected back. Early adopters of solar panels at homes have seen their energy bills drop. It can be used for both heating and electricity with low maintenance costs. It contains no movable path. Most reliable solar panel manufacturers provide 20 to 25 years warranty on panels. On the downside, it does account for initial cost of purchasing a solar system. It is completely weather dependent. Is it possible to power the world with solar panels? The biggest example that we can see today is Nasta city built in Abu Dhabi. It's one of the world's most sustainable urban development project powered by renewable energy, completely relying on solar energy and other renewable energy sources. As research and development are ongoing, with desired goals in mind of harnessing maximum solar power, we can expect possibly moving away from fossil fuels completely and powering our automobiles, houses and electronics that we see around us in the far future. It's not going to happen soon, but can expect in coming years with technological advancements. As world population is on the rise, by 2050, human population will reach 9.9 billion 
up from 7.4 billion in 2016. Demand for more electricity will increase drastically. Governments all around have been moving to solar energy with new policies and development. Europe's long-term plan is to obtain all of their electricity from renewable energy by 2050. Certainly, solar energy is the way to go harnessing free energy from our sun. Hope this episode brought some light, offering us to learn a bit. Anyways, that's it from my end. If you like this episode, consider subscribing and feel free to give a thumbs up. I have added the links to our videos in the description that might interest you. This is Noreen. You've been watching Experiential Lit. See you soon.